Instagram has a new look. The social networking app's users no longer restricted to the square. Users can now post portrait and landscape photos. But how will this change affect Instagram's business? Joining us now to talk about that is USA Today tech reporter Brett Molina. Brett, thanks so much for joining us. Let's talk about, about these changes. I mean, how is the Instagram user experience going to be different now that rectangular photos are allowed? Well, uh, users are going to have a lot more options now. I mean, they, they can now choose between portrait or landscape. So it's going to give them a lot more variety in terms of wanting to use photos that have a more horizontal view or a more vertical view. Um, and vertical in particular is going to be interesting because Instagram also allows videos. And we've seen a surge in the use of vertical video now with smartphones. So I, I think that's going to be tremendous for a lot of users. It's going to give them a lot more flexibility in terms of the type of stuff that they want to post. Now, what, have, what do the changes mean for companies that advertise on Instagram? I guess either videos or photos. Is it the same for them? Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're going to have a lot more options for advertising. I think it's going to make it a lot easier for them to make choices. You know, um, Instagram mentioned that one out of every five photos that are uploaded fit that square model. So you're seeing a lot of stuff that's cropped out. So again, advertisers are going to have a lot more options. You saw Disney uh, use some of this a little bit with the new Star Wars The Force Awakens teaser, a uh, 15 second video or so that was posted recently. So it gives you a taste of, of what advertisers can expect on the platform. And so I guess it sounds like you think this is going to be a positive thing for Instagram and its parent company Facebook when it comes to ad revenue or you know the, the business model that it's trying to build with Instagram. We know they haven't quite monetized it yet. Yeah, and that's still been a big challenge for Facebook since they bought the company three years ago for $1 billion. Um, you know, just trying to find ways uh, to make money off of that acquisition. And, and advertising really helps and, and having, again, more flexibility for advertisers to be able to create ads, whether it's a vertical video or whether it's just more of a horizontal image to compete with social media um, outlets like Snapchat and some other rising stars. Uh, it's going to benefit them greatly. Who would have thought that changing photos from just square to vertical and horizontal could open so many doors? Thank you so much, Brett. Really appreciate you joining us today. Thanks for watching. I'm Courtney Reagan. Have a great day. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.